It is Saturday, March 16, 2024. I'm here at Westworld of Scottsdale, Arizona for the Good Guys Spring Nationals. I filmed this one last year as well. I had a nice drive through the desert in the rain yesterday. Today we got perfect weather for a car show, so you know a lot of people are gonna show up. This is like the first of three uh, Good Guys events I'm planning on filming in the next couple weeks. Uh, and of course, they always draw a lot of great cars, and I'm sure you're excited to see them, so let's go have a look. All right, so we're gonna start off. Uh, there's this lonely uh, 69 Impala station wagon just kind of hanging off out on its own. Very nicely patinaed and lowered with sitting on torque thrusts. So like I said, next week I'm planning on doing uh, Pleasanton. I'm gonna keep an eye on the weather report, make sure it's not gonna rain that weekend, <laughs> as they did with this weekend. Of course, I knew it wasn't gonna rain today. Uh, a couple weeks on Easter weekend, there's really not much going on. There's a Tri-5 show at the Alliance Museum. That's what I'm planning on hitting as of right now. So it'll be kind of a more a chill weekend for videos. And then uh, coming up uh, the weekend after that, we got Good Guys in Del Mar, much closer to home for me, down near San Diego. So lots of, lots of good stuff coming up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you got the notifications turned on so you know when I post something. So the cars are still rolling in. Nash Metropolitan. Also, I should announce, make sure you like the video, which on a TV involves going and hitting pause and then going over and hitting the uh, thumbs up symbol. In addition to that, make sure you uh, comment on the video. Even if you have to go to like a phone or a tablet or computer, you know what your favorite vehicle was. Those help us out with the algorithm. Don't forget the uh, tentative list of Events I'm planning on filming will be in the comments section, pinned at the top shortly after the video posts. Usually right after the video posts. So you know where I'm going to be. And of course later on there'll be cars uh, cruising up and down here. Choice section, starting with the 69 Mustang. This uh, 57 convertible with black with uh, the trim eliminated. by Ford Ranch Wagon, the Fairlane trim. this show is absolutely massive as of uh, the Pleasanton one next week they do draw I don't know thousands of cars to these custom 
Mercury. That's 59. 348, three deuces. If you like the Impalas, check out my two videos from last week. I did the uh, Lowrider Super Show at the Long Beach Convention Center. Got over 30,000 steps in two days filming that one. That's 66 Nova. C10. Uh, 67 Pontiac GTO. A little window sticker, 3,678. This one does have the four speed. A 69 Chevelle says it's bad. Different this Oldsmobile convertible. A Hemi powered roadster. Cadillac. This one is a limo with a, a divider. on the short side. Our 59 Chevy, this one's an El Camino. We got a custom 68 Volkswagen Beetle. I still need to go get my stepfather 65 going. Believe it or not, the carburetor is actually sitting on my uh, living room table. <laughs> Six Ford F one hundred. This guy actually drove out from California, according to the license plates. A thirty six Ford Roadster. A flathead. So it actually is for sale. It's actually a nine five one number, Southern California number.
fact it is for sale. Remember the uh, swap meet rules. A 32 Roadster. All right, we got LA Roadsters coming up in June. Nash Metropolitan, with a small block in it. Very good look inside. That is one cool Metropolitan. This International Scout. I had a 74 Scout myself years ago. Of course, mine had the uh, 258 AMC motor. 57 Thunderbird. It's got the uh, Kelsey Hayes wire wheels, and check it out the 312 with the uh, two four barrel carburetors. 1 ton dually with a uh, Cummins 12 valve. This is a slick truck. In addition to providing solutions to collision centers around the globe, 34 Ford with a flathead. Well, it's for sale for 115000 57. LS. Last year I filmed this section last, and by then the crowds made it very hard to shoot. So this year I'm kind of shooting in reverse. That's 66. Powell, the big block. Working some steering gears offer quick ratio, precise handling, and modern steering. Uh, 60 and Paul has the uh, 90s car show throwback of the day. I say there's one at every car show. It's like an Easter egg hunt. Very clean uh, 55 Bel Air four door sedan. Another 55, this one a uh, Nomad. Six El Camino, ninety-six three twenty-five. Uh, Sixty El Camino. Chevy Street Rod. A 64 Falcon Sprint.
It's very orange. You came back. That was a uh, 1941 Plymouth. Exactly. Our number. Uh, 73 Buick Riviera. That's 67 El Camino. Because I'm not sure how the weather from yesterday is going to affect the turnout for today. That's all the locals are still going to come out. 68 Firebird. It's not unusual to find out I'm in love with you. Oh, oh, oh. Very nice Camaro. is dedicated to providing American-made products for your Corvette restoration needs. Come visit us here and to learn about the list of products to include our C1 355.
Unleashing true engine power, there's only one choice. Tom Cam is the preferred camshaft of good guys. With pre precision engineering and unmatched performance and undeniable power, Tom Cam's camshaft are... Sixty-two vet. Check out those '80s uh, wheels. So they're like the American racing mags that look kind of like the C4 rims. First, an '88 uh, anniversary edition. Thirty-fifth anniversary, all white. You see these very often anymore. Remember when the Chevy dealer in Culver City had one of these like uh, in the showroom when they were brand new. And the steering wheel was white. Model and make and take presented by. Same with the uh, Corvette theme. Yeah, C4 with the uh, period accessories.
super clean uh, third gen Camaro. That Barracuda we saw rolling through earlier. There's 69 Corvette. Seventy nine Trans Am. Body Mustang. That was an eighty two model. Sixty seven Chevelle. Now we got a 
my band playing, so I might be able to get away with shorter, longer clips now. so far. Okay, so now the band's playing again. So you got a mix of the band playing and whatever music they're playing over the uh, sound system. So hopefully I'm less likely to get flagged for copyright. Cedar Baker rolling through. I like that. I'll get some time to head out to Palm Springs work on my Cedar Baker pretty soon. Those that don't know, I picked up a 53 Starlight Coupe for you recently. I do have it running and driving, but it needs all the, the other little things or it's roadworthy. This is 396, 325 horse. People don't forget, we do have the Nitro Thunderfest coming up. Chicago Fest, brought to you by Summit Racing, coming up a little bit later today around 12. I'll be watching your video. Well, thanks. Got a uh, 67 convertible. A 66 Chevelle convertible. That says 396. Another four speed. And there's the uh, correct 66 wheel covers because the rallies hadn't come out yet. In you got this AMC AMX. It's the first AMC product we've had today, other than the uh, Nash's, the Metropolitans. Uh, 340 uh, Plymouth Cuda. Sixty-nine Copo Chevelle with a 427. That is an extremely rare car. Taking your first bit. That's about it. She didn't back her. Then find it back. I'm here. She says. First year 67 Z28 Camaro.
Seven GTO. I'll bounce over and get these cars since I took a nice thumbnail photo of them. Just in case they decide to move before I get over to this lane. Mustang Mach 1. That was a 428 with a uh, four speed train. This one's a 71 Cutlass SX, the 455 and a Ram Air like a W30. I'm pretty sure that's a very, very rare car. So not a 442, the first dual gate and a uh, eight track. Like I said, you probably won't be seeing too many of these around. <laughs> Ford or Chrysler, muscle car or truck. They're the number one choice for top builders and have the industry best fit with original equipment. I'm not sure how many cars are going to be down the uh, bottom level today as we did have the range yesterday. So I'm trying to go a little bit slower on the stuff up here. When I shoot a video that's pretty far from home usually the video will not be up till the following day you know, most of the videos local to LA I'm able to get up the same day but uh, this one is far from home. So, uh, 61 Pontiac Ventura two hardtop 39 tri-power we got the uh, eight lug wheels and a four speed Amazing rare Pontiac. Uh, 64 GTO. 39, three deuces. A 70 Chevelle Super Sport 396. Galaxy Short bed. Next generation special area. Black seventy two El Camino. Seventy one big block four fifty four Corvette. So 
and it's for sale. 62,000. Monte Carlo Aero Coupe. The crowds are definitely starting to show up now. Viper Coupe. 68 Shelby GT500. Got a supercharger on it. It's uh, Willie's Gasser. Uh, 67 Impala SS427. Camaro Z28. I think they're actually getting ready to have the band this time. Which does help me out when I'm filming because it's you don't flag for covers as bad as you do for originals on the copyright. I could do those inside. Yeah. It'd be up here, but I, I'm going out of town. Kind of I'd like to see those unless you don't want to. And I'll be back on the first. You could, you could, you could, yeah. That was for sale, but no info. Other than a phone number. Yeah, it's five window coupe. Ford with a Hemi. easier. Last year my left arm was messed up when I was filming and I 
I have the use of my right arm for the most part. So definitely improvement this year. If I mentioned last year uh, in last year's video, if I, my arm wasn't doing well. But he added a uh, hidden filler. I never, I never of course, wasn't really a 55. But a 57 Chevy four door hardtop. You don't see the four door hardtops very often. So you see the four door sedans. He made that for you? Five Nomad. the uh, row of tri-fives. Six four hard top.
GTO Judge Convertible, 1970. With Ram Air. Trans Am, this looks very original. I believe that's original paint. A little bit sun faded. Cadillac Coupe. style uh, 47 Ford street ride got the uh, door handle treatment <laughs> that's how they did it back in the 80s third brake light and all Got a, a Corsair Neoclassical, Neoclassic, whatever they call it. <laughs> I read the thing, it says it was uh, built on a 77 Thunderbird. The grill is obviously like a uh, Lincoln from the 70s. This so was a popular thing back in the like, late 70s, early 80s. Various companies did these kinds of conversions. About a uh, 1958 Edsel Pacer two-door hardtop, very similar to one I owned many years ago when I had went to uh, Sweden when I sold it. They won the same color combo. Got it out of a uh, off the second owner's uh, family in uh, El Monte, where it sat for many years. I will say it's very likely I will not get every car at this event, as is with most good guys events. The cars move around and the sheer number of vehicles is just immense. So especially like Pleasanton next next week, that, that show is just insanely massive.
custom 36 Ford. Plymouth sedan. Before Ford custom line. I don't think you could ask for much better weather than today. Nice breeze, not, not too windy. Custom Mercury. This is a true custom, isn't it? I got the '66 uh, Chevelle. Ford Deluxe, two-door sedan. We got not one, but we got two Kaiser Darens. We'll start with the uh, cream color. This one is for sale. I'm sure it's not cheap. <laughs> 54 mile. Yeah, I know. <laughs> First, the uh, doors slide into the uh, fenders. Nice. The second one. This one's actually been uh, modified a bit. The big block Chevy. I don't think I've ever seen one that's been uh, swapped for the big block. Uh, 68 Pontiac Firebird LS. We got a long roof here. We got a 66 Buick Special Station Wagon. Chevy sedan delivery. Oh, I thought it was a stand delivery. It was uh, just like a tinted window. That's a tinted seat with a chop, but two door. Get yeah, this uh, hot rod. I'm going to make it out to Rat City Ruckus. It's coming up in uh, April in Las Vegas. It's the day before Pomona. I'm, my, I'm still going to try to make it. That makes for one heck of a weekend to drive to Vegas, film a show, and then get Pomona the next day. And again, the first time I shot that show, I did uh, Viva Las Vegas the same day as, as that show. So, a uh, 57 Cadillac, Colorado Seville. The two door hard top. If I can get in here, get the back with the tail fins. 
Of course, they got it crammed right up against that Chevy. Another Cadillac. This one's got a uh, LS swap. It's a 47 model. Convertible. Last year before they went to the tail fins. Death proof uh, Model A. Dad owned one of these. A Fury? One of Fury. Well, yeah, but in this case, there's one. 65 Plymouth Sport Fury. Tudor hardtop. Been down to the uh, lower level yet? <laughs> I think we're well over an hour onto this uh, video at this point. And what a shot! <laughs> Not sure if the camera is going to pick up the uh, interesting color on this truck. Yes, Tahoe. How far is it up? T5 Blazer. Square body. It's interesting patina on this one. There's a LS under there. Well hidden. <laughs> in a truck. Let's go this uh, Ford pickup extended cab custom. We did see this a few times. So on Blue and Power Tour, we also had it seen a couple years ago. Yeah, that's a show. I'm going to go a little bit faster and we'll zero in on some of the more interesting vehicles. As I have already been here about four hours. Patinaed uh, Ford pickup with the inline six, and he's got a uh, flathead uh, engine tester set up. We saw this here last year as well. As I was saying, I've already been here quite a long time. I'm not quite 
sure how many vehicles are down the bottom. Last year it was a lot, but uh, obviously it might be a little muddy down there since it rained. Swap square body with a camper shell. A Ford Chevy pickup. The uh, patriotic firewall. GT2 plus 2 from the custom suburban station wagon Squeezed it out less than there. Swap 69 TA replica. I just thought it was the best thing to do. We all go through. We all went through. Very much in the Cars. This is the uh, air cooled corral section under the banner. This Volkswagen Rat. This started out as a 61 Beetle. Got the hinges for the uh, dungeon gates. 
a medieval castle. Lots of take in on this one. Sixty-six beetle. Last year for the uh, glass uh, overlays on the headlights. We have a ratty uh, three fifty-six. Uh, 56 with a tool kit. And cover your gears, especially if kids around, it does give out. Chrysler 300E Custom. Got some Z car. Custom Roadster. Good Skylark. Watch them moldings right there. Clean 
56. 51 Ford. Fly ahead. Go to the electric 64 Galaxy. The motor in there, just a cooler. This was at SEMA, I think, two years ago. Plug-in electric <laughs> galaxy. Now we're down at the uh, bottom level, checking out the cars down here. We got a, a Plymouth Roadrunner Superbird. One of the uh, wing cars from Mohar. He's got a four-speed. I've had, I've seen somebody with Studebaker Coupe. Like I said I will be getting mine on the road hopefully very 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 soon. That's custom Ford Falcon. Yeah, there's a big expansive field of cars. That's 40 coupe. A 64 Corvette Roadster. I'm just gonna bounce around, get some of the more interesting vehicles. I do have to leave at two o'clock. It's about one o'clock now, so I got an hour to shoot more footage about a uh, 58 Packard Hawk that's a rarity it's pretty much a, a Studebaker product I like that yeah that's very different. Mercury Cyclone GT, 1970. Check out this Jeep Grand Wagoneer and how clean it is. It was a uh, 1987 model, so right at the end of American Motors. Clean Pontiac Firebird. This one is the Formula 400. In orange. A uh, 66 Galaxy convertible for sale. This one is a 500 XL buckets console. 
give you a look on this one. Here's a for sale sign we'll get down there. This one could be yours for 19500 Check out the patina on this Cadillac ambulance. I believe it's an ambulance because it has a spot on the top for a light. Beautiful Rambler Classic Convertible 770 Series. Uh, 39 Ford Coupe. How are you? So with a flat head. Nice. And here's for 35,000. This Crosley with a uh, suit driver plaque on it. She got an LS and a uh, 67 Ford Country Squire station wagon. <laughs> Something a little different. The 59 Ford station wagon. It's a ranch wagon, so base wagon. 15,000. There's your info on that one. Does show a little bit of the patina. And a big block 427 powered 67 Impala convertible. 35 horse. And next week I do plan on getting my 69 Paula with a 427 out. Finally. <laughs> I put a new fuel tank in it about a month ago and haven't taken it out since. 69 El Camino. Doing great. It's great to see you again. Yeah, 69 Mach 1, 428. This car is absolutely gorgeous. I think if I ever had a 69 Mach 1, I'd probably want it in this color. I'm going to do a little bit of walk around style. <laughs> It is kind of the variety that shows up here. There's a reason why this is a three-day event. Just because of the sheer numbers of draws. Of course, Saturday is usually the big day. I think that's at any of the uh, good guys' events. It's about every kind of car you can imagine. Classic. That is classic, I should say. Also have the swap me, which is up on the hill there. Uh, this uh, Chevy cab over. Yeah, he's got a uh, old vintage uh, Coca-Cola cooler, ice box. Got a Willis Jeep. Station wagon. It's a 55 Buick.
Here's a real one, a 1960 DeSoto Tudor hardtop. Second to last year for DeSoto. Definitely one you're not going to see too many of out there. They're a pretty Chevy pickup. That's what I'd like to do next year, which was the plan this year, would be to come out for Friday and do the swap meet for you guys, which it rained yesterday, so that wasn't going to happen. That would involve probably getting two hotels. <laughs> next year we can make that happen so i'm guessing maybe uh, friday might be the best day for the swap meet action well, the uh, 63 imperial crown Convertible. This is what my dad would have gone nuts for. A 66 Mercury Park Lane convertible. I remember specifically always wanted a 67, could never find one. SC Scrambler AMC It's because you wanted to see more gassers Bring you some more gassers. Couple of the cars that showed up. going to take a little break. I didn't, I didn't feel like that. He's going to rest. Rob's coming up to the line, that crystal red 1972 then, with the side. That's very 90s style coupe. 90s graphics and a third brake light. That's going to wrap things up here in Scottsdale, Arizona for the Good Guys Spring Nationals 2024. Got a lot of other great Good Guys events coming up. We got Pleasanton next week, and in a few weeks we got Del Mar. There's just so many cars here, so many I didn't get. Uh, it's just very hard to film with all the music everywhere. Uh, but I did get a lot of the really great cars, including the ones that are up for awards. Uh, so that that's always great. Uh, about to head back to LA. I've been here filming for six hours. Now I get to drive home. <laughs> so. Hopefully I'll get this video up tomorrow morning. We got a lot of other great ones coming up, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like the video. Uh, leave a comment as to what your favorite car was. Uh, be sure to uh, make sure you're subscribed. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.